Oftentimes we go out to customers' houses for water in their basement, and they're confused about how water gets in. So we wanted to put together a video to show the ways that water gets in, and we want to start with how the house was built. So the first thing to do is dig out for the foundation, pour the footers for the foundation wall and backfill, and then build the rest of the house. The challenges and problems with this is when they dig the hole for the basement, it's backfilled with loose dirt that never gets compacted back, which allows rainwater, wind, driven rain, and runoff to seep down beside the basement walls through this loose dirt. If your gutters are not extending away from the house, all that water from the roof will also filter down through that loose soil and sit beside and below your foundation. This is what we call the basement bowl effect, and eventually it will fill that bowl up, pushing water up into your basement and in through the foundation walls. This is why our industry is a big fan of interior drainage systems, because it takes care of both issues, the water being pushed up and the water being pushed in. As you can see here, we start with busting out the concrete, then we add our drainage pipe and gravel, and then we're going to put our concrete back, install our sump pump, and our sump pump discharge line. Here you can see how our drainage system takes the water that is coming through the wall and the water that is being pushed up due to the bowl effect and takes it to and through our drainage system, which then directs it into our sump pump. Our sump pump will then pump the water outside, away from the foundation, making sure it does not enter the basement again. If you have any questions regarding basement waterproofing, you can check out our YouTube channel or our website at hydrohelp911.com. Please reach out to us at 704-813-9554. Thank you.